What's up? I'm Moana Turtle. Today we're doing a Pokemon video. As you can see, we have some unbroken bonds. We have some burning shadows. We're going Zard hunting once again. We know they're in there. We pulled both of them, and I'm so happy about that. So we're going. Uh, look, the greed is really sending. We're going for more. Uh, before we jump into these packs, I have a question for all of you viewers, all you subs. Um, so I want to do kind of like a showcase thing, uh, stretching across all episodes, where every single day we pull. We show off a card from our high value collection, I don't, I don't know, we can call it the vault or something. I'm not sure, just like a showcase. So these are two boxes which I store my cards. I like these kind of like, I don't remember when, not sure even, maybe these were for tops or something, uh, but pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of vintagey. And so the box on the left with the Charmander has <laughs> has a bunch of raw cards and this is like kind of like my um high value cards kind of like queued up to be sent to psa which we still have yet to do and the one with ash brock and misty pikachu as well you can't really see them uh kind of has um some of my best highest value psa cards um that aren't part of completed or nearly completed sets uh so a lot of good stuff in here and so i think um one uh, every, uh, all future videos i'll kind of like show off one of the cards from whatever one you pick so basically my question to all of you guys is should i do my showcase for but the raw cards that are yet to be graded or the ones that are already graded psa um the that so this one obviously has a lot more because the both boxes are absolutely packed to the brim uh so let me know in the comment down below which one you think you would like to see more and whatever one doesn't win maybe i'll just do that over instagram or something so whatever one does win make sure you're following me on instagram as well link down below um and that way you don't miss either set so all right i'm just gonna put this off to the side and we'll get into these booster packs all right so we're starting off left to right as always we'll start off with a couple packs of burning shadows and uh yeah if you manage to snag one of these code cards let me know what you pull uh especially if it's something good <laughs> i i would uh i think it'd be really cool if um someone will pull like a, a rainbow zard from one of these code cards dupider a meow stick for the reverse not a fan of this one uh that that species and then a electrovire for a regular rare i'm pretty confident that they just did like another print wave of burning shadows and i'm really glad they did um just such a good set although it's primarily probably like 90 percent just that that dreamo charizard all right let's see we have riolu running on the beach cutie fly dupider togedemaru Wimpod, Pikachu for the reverse. This Pikachu art is kind of weird. Not crazy about it. And then a Passimian throwing the uh, something at a Lucario. Feel like we pulled that one a lot. All right, on to Unbroken Bonds. Okay, we have a Darkness Energy, a Puku Muku. Never sure how to say that. Togetic. Fairy Charm, Meltan, Slowpoke taking a bath, Wooper, a Sand Dial, Meowth with his plushes, a Power Plant for the reverse, and then a Spirit Tomb. Oh, I'm not sure if I ever looked at this. 60 HP. Spirit Tomb's always kind of weird. Uh, once in your turn before your attack, you may put one damage counter. Once during your turn, you may put one damage counter on this Pokemon. What? Well, this hat doesn't. That's terrible. <laughs> That is terrible. I did not like any part of that card. And then it's a hollow. <laughs> that should be like a common. Watch this. That part is probably like some synergy with something and makes it completely OP. <laughs> but as far as I can tell, that thing is... <laughs> that has no, that has no place in this. Alright, we have a Lickitung. Litten. Krabby. Tangela, LT Surge of Strategy for the reverse, and then, ooh, I do like this Mewtwo. I feel like this Mewtwo hasn't really caught on, and I don't understand why. I feel like he's, the Mind Report ability is just really good. Um, but compared to, like, Tapu Lele, it's, like, not even near. I guess, technically, it has to be in your discard pile, so why have that restriction? But at the same time, like, most people play so many supporters that they they 
play one like every single turn and like that's how they refill their hand they don't need to refill their hand to play the supporter so i, I guess i'm just kind of surprised where i haven't seen that mewtwo being too relevant in the meta maybe he just hasn't had his time or his time will still come rather all right let's see we have an esper porygon darumaka caterpie bell sprout reverse and then Ooh, okay, here is our first GX from the opening. We have a Greninja and Zorark. Um, they're attacking, but the way they kind of did this, it looks like they're fighting each other. <laughs> it's like Greninja versus Zorark. Um, don't think this card was that great. Uh, attacks 30 more damage for amount of dark energy attached to Pokemon, and then Dark Union, uh, pointing combination of uh, darkness Pokemon that GX or EX from your discard pile onto the bench. Eh. For two really cool Pokemon, I feel like that tag, te tag team card was very lackluster. Um, beyond the art. The art was the only thing that was correct in <laughs> that one, in my opinion. That's another one I feel like haven't seen him do too much. Alright, let's see. A Fairy Energy, a Power Plant, Charger Bug, nice, Toracat, Gligar, Spritzy, looks like a Shy Guy, Doduo, Rhyhorn, a Meltan, Lickitung for the reverse. He looks strange, not as weird as Licky Licky. And then a Hypno for a regular rare. Okay, so we did get one hit, so we'll say we achieved par for the course. Let's see if we can't make it a birdie. I'm not sure if anyone, maybe, I'm not sure if anyone appreciates the golf analogies. <laughs> what is a sport that you guys all play? Let me know in a comment below and uh, I'll try to use those for analogies. We have an energy spinner. What does this thing actually do? Search your deck for basic energy card, reveal it, and put it into your hand. If you go second in your first turn, search up to three. Hmm. Right horn, Darumaka, Sandile, Salandit. I guess energy spinner is not that bad. As long as you have enough that you can always search up something, it kind of like just thins your deck, kind of helps improve your draws. Uh, very by very little but then um, yeah and then that three if you can pull it off awesome on that though it just you know just thins your deck all right come on let's get one more hit for this opening we have a grass energy war turtle cleffa porygon 2 inke tentacool drowsy a cubone Crabrawler. Crabrawler for the reverse, and then we have a boom! Ooh, wow! Poke Gear 3.0 Gold Trainer. That is a really good hit. Poke Gear is actually a really good card. Uh, I feel like a lot of people are using it. Uh, so, if you're not familiar with this card, let's take a quick look. Look at the top seven cards of your deck. You may reveal a supporter card from there and then put it into your hand. Um, yeah, so the supporters is kind of like how you constantly keep your hand uh, full of cards. You never want to be pulling off the touch on top of your deck. Uh, but Poke Gear, maybe this is why, maybe Poke Gear is in lieu of that Mewtwo so it doesn't take a bench slot. All you do is just pop this trainer and most likely you can find one of those uh, supporters uh, to help you cycle through. So, another successful opening. Uh, do me a favor, show, celebrate with me by hitting that like button down below. Uh, we pulled our secret rare, and it is a Poke Gear 3.0. Uh, one of the better gold, gold trainers, in my opinion. Really happy about that. So, two hits in this opening. We got definitely got the birdie. <laughs> no, that's a secret rare for and a, and a really useful trainer. We're calling that the eagle. <laughs> All right, um, let's see if we can't wrap up with any other solid pulls. We have a Laron, Gliscor, Ghastly, Tangela, Venonat, Rattata, Goldeen, Wartortle Reverse. Love that art. It's kind of like, imagine something's about to attack from behind, just creates a little shield, and then, oh my gosh, this is awesome. Oh, this is a monster opening. We got three pulls. This is our first alternate art ever. Oh, man. And this is like one of my favorite ones. <laughs> so happy about this. That is such an awesome art. The two mucks just trying to, I'm not sure if they're, no, they must be trying to like just bust out of there and uh, the Alolan one's getting on top and the other guy's like, you know, dude, get out of my way. I'm trying to get out of here. Um, 
I really still want to see this card be successful. We have severe poison, basically poison for 8 damage every single time. And then poison absorption, if they don't get rid of that poison, that this they'll definitely be knocked out by poison absorption and nasty goo mix. I feel like it's just so strong. Um, yeah, four energy and that thing will do 150 damage. Plus the Pokemon is paralyzed. If you have that uh, Dust Island as well, that almost every attack will knock out any Pokemon. Um, wow, what an amazing opening, guys! We our luck has been so good lately. Um, occasionally we'll have a video where we just like kind of like dud and you know fizzle out and don't get anything but then I feel like when that happens the next video we come back even stronger oh man such a good opening whoo guys show some love uh, like button down below if you're not already subbed you should definitely be subbed we've been we've been on such a hot streak with openings like this one man I I'm not sure if the alternate art counts as like as a secret rare or something, but man, we got the gold gold card as well as the alternate art. All right, for the last pack, I can't imagine there's more any anything else to have. Uh, we don't need to worry about last pack magic, but we have a Lolan Doug Trio reverse followed by the Buff Persian. Oh, I feel buff right now with all those massive pulls. There we go. Crazy opening. Um, yeah. Oh, I, I completely forgot. <laughs> Let me know if you want to see um, kind of like a daily showcase of our best loose cards or some of the um, better PSA cards that we managed to accumulate up until now. Let me know in a comment and uh, after a while we'll begin um, some of those openings. All future openings will kind of display one of those. So there you guys have it. So happy with the results. Our first alternate art, and it's my favorite. Uh, my favorite tag team. Uh, obviously, the Zard Reshiram. Everyone just wants it because like it's a chase card, but that, those mucks, I just feel like it's so cool for so many reasons. So happy with that. Um, all right, we just got to get that rainbow mucks now because uh, I think we pulled all the other ones as well. So, oh, God, I, I'm, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> I'm like up there when we pull like all the rainbow zards. Uh, that's how good, that's how happy I am with this opening. So, so it's such a success. Um, all right, enough rambling. Thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.